Hi! Welcome to Far Cry 4. We're doing Bell Tower number 17. It's the furthest east bell tower in northern Kairat. You can see it here. Quite close to Pagan Men's Tower, but not the closest fortress. On the way I met a uh, snow leopard. That's mildly exciting. Uh, there was a little bit of driving. Because uh, I was still quite some way away, even though I didn't really believe it. Well, actually not. You can see it right up there. And then as I approached, there was a karma event as well. Kill the guard. So I dealt with it. Now, uh, when you get to this bell tower, there's two propaganda posters. One is on the ground floor. You may have seen it briefly there. There it is. There's another one just up here on the first floor up. And there's a couple of chests. One here and another one just a little bit lower down there. And they're both on little lips outside the building. Anyway, first propaganda poster down and head inside. There's a weird sort of wind measuring thing there. There's some ammo also. And what looked to be some money behind the ladder you'll see over here to the left, but when I walked over it, it didn't appear to pick anything up. So, I guess not. Anyway, climbing up the ladder. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and we're basically at the right height for the first propaganda poster. You want to head out here and then around to the right, or to the left, sorry, is the quickest way. I end up going all the way around to the right. And here it is here. Flaming arrow, Molotov. That'll do you. Either of those. And then back inside, uh, it took me a little while to see where I was supposed to climb up. Uh, I faffed, but it's that climbing point there. Wow, I didn't even notice that cut. Amazing. <laughs> then there's another climb here. First of all, I just wanted to check on the location of the chests. They're both up there. And I kind of do this slightly the long way. Sorry, here's where I get confused. That wasn't a cut, after all. So, in there. And then here we are with some boxes. And you'll see there's actually a running jump there. And then when you smash these out of the way, there's a tightrope over this. Well, not a tightrope, but a plank. You can walk quite easily. I didn't see it at first, but there's the first chest there. And the second one is directly above it. So I climb up here and run first part of the tether. Run straight past the chest, which is immediately on my right there. Don't even notice it. And instead drop down here. But you can totally just walk across that plank that's sticking out to get onto here. I then spend far too long getting back to where I was, so here we are here for the running jump again. And the second chest is just here on the right. So that's both chests and both propaganda posters, and now it's a pretty simple walk up to the top, so up this ramp. And then around here, not that way, that's it, here we go. <laughs> and through here, and you'll see that there's a climbing point up here to the left, followed by a ladder just off to the right there which is pretty much going to take us up to the top. Now, be careful of that. Uh, I decided to shoot it from a distance, not with the grenade launcher, but with the gun. That just set fire to everything. Somehow I still managed to catch on fire here. I'm not quite sure how. Uh, I didn't see any flames when I walked over there, but it was only a small one, so that's fine. And then up here, there's some body armor on this chest here. Uh, and then a note here, uh, one of Yuma's journals. I think she's probably talking about her mum. She's saying, give him what he wants, give him as much that he begins to believe it's all he needs, distract him with your body, drug him with your voice. So I can only assume she's complaining about uh, our mother. Anyway, with that done, the radio tower beacon is removed, and that's all 17 bell towers liberated. We'll have our little vignette. I think there's a cave as one of these. Uh, but first up, we've got uh, the medicinal poacher. Strange cave here. Himakoka cave with at least a couple of chests. Delicious flashing things. And then a distillery with a couple of chests in the back there as well. And this has unlocked the buzzsaw, which is a pretty ridiculously amazing LMG, it's got to be said. Um, I'll do it in my signature weapons video, which I'll link in the description if you want to see that. Uh, but yeah, the, it's uh, insane. It's loud, but it kills everything fast. There's an armed escort quest that's unlocked, a bomb defusal. Uh, three, maybe two outposts. I'm not sure if uh, one of them was already there. Lumse Barracks and the Border Control, Border Observation Post. There we are. And then this one up here, the Nambochi Monastery, but that might have been there before. Anyway, that's it for now. On the left is the final Shangri-La mission with the big bird, uh, the unpainted future. And on the right is uh, the Border Control Post. Uh, that outpost. So, uh, take your pick, choose your next adventure wisely, my friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!